Big boost today for people set to have their student loans forgiven. People who get those loans forgiven won't be taxed on it by the state. Rod Maloney is live tonight to help explain how this is all going to work, Rod. Well, you know, uh, Karen, it's one of those situations where when there's a lot of money changing hands like this in a government program, uh, it leads to a lot of contemplation and a lot of questions. And so the lieutenant governor today, Garland Gilchrist, uh, got together with some, uh, some supporters of his where they were talking about this very issue, and he had this announcement. Student loan relief will, be, will come to people tax-free in Michigan. Um, and that's something that many people have wanted or needed clarification on. The lieutenant governor wanting to tout the president's loan program, promising relief to more than a million and a half Michiganders who carry an average of $30,000 in student debt. And I think it means good thing unambiguously for the state of Michigan. Many who stand to benefit from the debt relief program, including Brandy Pitwick, who works for a federal employment program, stopped going to school for a second degree because she carried a lot of debt. I was just going to pay out of pocket because I didn't want to get any more debt. But with the debt being gone now, it, it just makes me feel a little bit more freer to move around with my education and do, get, you know, do more things. But Anderson Economic Group economist Patrick Anderson, who watches these kinds of policy impacts, says the lieutenant governor is offering Michiganders nothing. Any claim by a politician that somehow they're going to unilaterally forgive uh, Michigan income tax on student loan is a transparent political ploy. This is money the state wasn't going to get anyways. He notes that we're just days away from the midterm presidential election. There's no allowance for an elected official to declare that this group of taxpayers don't have to pay a tax that that group of taxpayers does have to pay. That's right in our Constitution. One of the things that Anderson said was that what this program does is take uh, money from taxpayers and gives it to people who sign student loan contracts. And he says that was essentially shifting the burden onto the taxpayer. Back to you. Yeah. So, so Rod, for those who qualify, how will the government then decide which loans get relief first? Well, as we understand it, what the government will do is if you, if you sign up for the program, they will look to see if you have defaulted loans. And they're saying that the first $10,000 would start there. Uh -huh. And then if, the, if the, there's any left over, they will go to the highest interest rate loan and then the loan type. So there are differing types like unsubsidized and right. subsidized right. loans. So that's the hierarchy that they've announced yeah. so far. Gotcha. Okay. Rod, we appreciate it.